Hey everybody, I'm Josh V. Um, I'm the Isofod caretaker here at the BioDude. Today we're going to be kind of doing a short overview video of our new Terra Isopoda. It's a new substrate that we recently released that's geared specifically towards creating a nutritionally beneficial substrate for the tritivores. Um, any kind of like isopod or millipede that's going to be eating the substrate that kind of works a little bit better for arthropods as opposed to what we were using with our Terra Arania. It is just a much more light and fluffy consistency so it makes it easier for them to dig. So say even if I did keep this you know surface dwelling species on Terra Isopoda they would still have ease of access to those lower levels because it's you know has more air pockets throughout it. So this culture here is a culture of our Armadillidium paraque. Um, it is cultured on the one that we used before, our Terra Arania. Um, and I kind of wanted to include this to showcase that it, you know, it does behave differently than our Terra isopoda. It's not that it's bad, but it is that it takes a little bit more work to specialize it for isopods. Um, with it not having those larger chunks in it like the Terra isopoda does, it does kind of condense a little bit more. Um, so the Terra isopoda will maintain its fluffy, loamy consistency, um, while this one being more of a homogenous mixture will kind of all settle a little bit quicker. So I'll just come in here every like month or so and mix up that substrate manually, um, which you wouldn't have to do with the Terra isopoda. But something that you can't see, as you can with the textures, is that we have um, added a calcium source within the actual substrate um, within the bag, which is something that we don't do for the variety that we already offer um, of our substrates. So that kind of creates a more nutrient-rich soil, of course, for your arthropods and isopods. So even with that uh, I guess streamline process of having a I would say 90% complete soil um, you still want to add in your biodegradables um, as well as in the future you will want to provide more calcium for isopods or any kind of millipede or arthropod that you're keeping because they are very dependent on that for their exoskeleton. Of course detritus like your leaf litter um, any kind of decaying wood um, like a sycamore bark or something like that would be great to add into a culture uh, and then of course you'll still want to add in some sphagnum moss for some of your more um, humid dependent species uh, and I still like to add in Bioshot because that will create a even more nutrient dense substrate um, there's some decaying material within Bioshot that you know serves them nutritionally so that's definitely something that I do prefer to add into all of our cultures. So yeah, that's gonna be a short overview um, on our new Terra Isopoda substrate. Um, if you've seen it on our website, I hope that gives you a little bit more info on how it behaves, the qualities that it has, as well as the new things that we introduced to the substrate that make it a little bit better geared for um, raising isopods, especially if you're gonna have master cultures makes it easier to have the substrate ready and mixed without having to do too much work to get it to where it needs to be.